everyone, it's Mona here at Craft Clutch. Today is Friday. That means it's another Coaster Friday. Today we are doing Valentine's Coasters, which was suggested by Anna Macedo. I'm doing something a little different today. I'm using a product that I've never used before, and we're going to make heart coasters. And this is not a sponsored video. Um, they happened to see one of my videos and shipped me some of the stuff thinking that I might enjoy working with it. So it's been sitting in my garage for a while. I brought it in and I thought now is a good time to give it a try. I'm going to put a little mask on just in case there's any dust that kicks up. And from what I understand it's concrete but it can be actually, um, depending on how you mix it, you could either cast it like you would regular concrete or you can mix it with enough water um, to make it like a clay. Like you can actually use it like a clay. So I have some ideas of what I want to try this out on. Um, but I thought I would start simple and just test it out and see how I liked it and hopefully you guys will like the coasters. To get this to the clay consistency it's four parts um, the shape creek to one part water. Alright, I have it mixed and I think there's probably, um, you can play a little bit with the proportions just to get it to what feels right to you. But I'm working on some aluminum foil. So I'm going to put this on the foil and kind of spread it out. Um, if it were a little thicker, I could use maybe a rolling pin. But I didn't really want to do that. I wanted to kind of see what I could do without it. Then I'm going to take my very large heart cookie cutter, which I got at Hobby Lobby. I'm going to pull this other stuff away. Put it back in the container. Pull it out. So that's a very simple one. These cutters came as a set, so I'm going to make a couple more the same way. But I'm actually going to cut the inside out. Okay, we're going to do it here, just like this. I'm take the excess out from around it. I'm going to leave this one on for a minute, press it down, and then I'm going to scoop this inner stuff out. This looks like a job for my skewer stick to really clean those edges. I'm going to scrape around the inside of this. All right, there we go. Gonna do another heart. But not everybody loves Valentine's Day, and sometimes it leads to broken hearts. So we're gonna have a little something for everybody for Valentine's Day here. Plop it onto here. Clean up the outside. I'm just with my skewer stick going to put a crack right in the middle. Now I'm not going to go all the way through. That's kind of important, I guess. And I'm leaving it in the cookie cutter while I'm doing this because doing this might misshape it. Now the directions say to put a piece of plastic loosely over it um, while it's drying. So I'm guessing that's so it doesn't dry too quickly and doesn't crack. We're back to paint and I have these multi-surface paints. And I have a red, a white, and a pink. And I really am thinking that what I want to do is kind of give it a wash. Okay, I'm going to take some red. I have a cup of water here. I'm just putting my paintbrush into the water. And I'm going to thin it down. Start with this guy. It's going to soak in pretty good, and this is going to help seal everything as well. And then you can decide if you want it thicker, you could come over it with another coat. Make sure you get the edges and the bottom as well. Now I'm using the multi-surface paint. You can use patio paint as well that is made for outside. So that's pretty durable.
has dried. We'll put that one aside. These are dry as well, front and back. And what we need to do is obviously this is not going to work as a coaster. It's got a big huge hole in it. This one's got a hole in it and this has a little gap. So we're going to fill it with resin. Now the way we're going to prevent the resin from leaking out is we're going to take our packing tape. We're going to run it along the back, just like this, and we are going to burnish it down. We want it to be nice and tight on there, and we want it to stick. I have gone both directions on this, and I'm going to rub it really well to make sure it has good contact with the concrete, because that's going to prevent our resin from running out and making a big old mess. Okay, we'll set that one down. It's ready to go. And I'm going to do the same with this little heart. The little heart's real easy because all you need is one going one way and one going the other. Now this is going to be the tricky one. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to get this one sealed off, but I'm certainly going to do the best that I can. We're going to start with this one. I have some resin mixed. I'm using the Easy Cast. And I have some pink chunky glitter. Because this is the pink and the red, I thought I would just go with pink on the inside. Now that I'm thinking about it, since it's pink and red, I might as well do pink and red on the inside too. So I'll put a little chunky red glitter on there. That was not my original plan. So I'll pour it in there. Alright, and you're going to let that sit. And you're going to take your lighter and you're going to pop bubbles. As they rise to the surface, you'll come back a couple times. Um, do that again. And now I'm going to prep the resin for the other two. Now we're going to do the chunky red in that one. So I'll take more chunky red glitter. Stir it in. And I'm going to take my lighter, pop the bubbles. Now I'm mixing the fine red with the fine black. Okay, now this is the one that I'm worried about, and rightfully so, because this is already coming apart a little bit. So I'm going to very carefully drip this into where the crack is. Hope it doesn't push the tape away. Oop, the tape is moving all on its own. I'm going to have to do something about that first. All right, I'm going to just use this stir stick and try to wedge it so hopefully it won't leak. I'm, I have my doubts. I let it kind of travel. All right, now we want to take our lighter, run it over there as well. Try not to melt that tape. And we're now going to let all of these sit a minimum of 12 hours before we come back. So here they are all finished. I'm going to carefully peel this off. I know there's going to be some touch-up paint. So no biggie, just yank it right off of there. So I am going to need to do a little bit of touch-up paint, no big deal. Um, this is not sticky either, so perfect. So here's coaster number one with the big red heart in the middle. Here's my teacup. This one is good and stable too. Here's the one where we just painted it. These are nice and sturdy and as soon as I get that paint, I touched up the paint on this one a little bit and here it is where it kind of leaked out a little bit. So I'm still going to sand that down and I might have to do a little touch up paint. So I'm going to use my Dremel to do that and just sort of grind it down just a hair. But other than that, good and stable. In the comments below, be sure to let me know which one of these you like the best. And hang on, because we are going to do the fishbowl. Okay, it's time for the fishbowl. Now, before I pick, I want to thank you guys for adding ideas into the fishbowl all the time. I really appreciate it, and I think it's been pretty fun. And I want to thank you guys for sharing my videos, for liking, commenting, and subscribing, of course. And, of course, if you subscribe, you can stay on top of things. So let's get to the fishbowl. It's Charlotte Harlow Underwater Theme. So that is what we're going to be doing next week. If you want your idea included in next week's fishbowl, be sure to leave it in the, on the most recent coaster video. Um, that way they're all in one place and I can easily find them. We'll see you next time, guys. Thanks so much for watching and happy crafting.